everyone. Today we're doing science. Our learning objective in science today is to be able to know how polar bears stay warm. So, polar bears, as you know, have a real thick layer of fur to help keep them warm. Under their fur, they have black skin and this helps to trap the heat and that also helps to keep them warm. Under the skin, a polar bear has a layer of blubber. Blubber is like fat and the blubber covers the entire body of a polar bear. The blubber helps to keep the polar bear well insulated. And this means that it protects the polar bear from the cold. Hello again. So I've just gone and got a bowl. I filled my bowl with water. I made sure it was really, really cold. So I ran the tap for a few seconds to make sure my water is very cold. I didn't fill my water all the way up because when I put my hands in, the water will rise a little bit. Then I put lots of ice cubes in to make my water even colder. Now I'm going to set my timer and then I'm going to put my hands in the water and see how long it lasts before my hands start to feel a little bit cold. When they start to feel a little bit cold, a bit too cold, I'm going to take them out and I'll know how long I could last with my hands in the water. Ready, steady, go. So I'm putting my hands in the cold water. And it is feeling quite cold, but it's okay at the minute. But after a few seconds, when it starts to feel really cold, I'm going to take them out. Right, it's starting to feel really cold now, but I did put cold water in and it's icy. Stop. I'm going to take my hands out now because I think that they are getting quite cold. So I lasted 22 seconds. So that's not very long. Now, I've just dried my hands, maybe it would be a good idea to have a towel next to you as well, just so you can dry your hands. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to put my gloves on and I'm going to cover my gloves. It was meant to be in lard, but I don't have any lard. So I'm going to put my latex gloves on and I'm going to cover my hands, my fingers in margarine. And then I'm going to put my hands back into the water and I'm going to see how long I can do it for. And hopefully the margarine will act as an insulator and I'll be able to keep my hands in the water for a little bit longer. Okay, so I've put my gloves on. They are um, little rubber gloves. I've put the gloves on. And I've covered my hands in stalk. So now I'm going to put my hands into the water and see if I can hold my hands in the water for a little bit longer. I did put some more ice cubes in my water because it was um, starting to melt a little bit. So let's have a go. Ready, go. So I'm putting my hands in the water. Doesn't feel as cold as it did before. If it was going to be a really fair test, I would have, maybe I could have took the temperature of the water because the temperature might not be exactly the same. My water was really cold. The ice had melted a little bit, so then I put the same amount of ice in again, but it might have had a little bit more ice in because it already had some in. So I've got my hands in there. They're starting to feel a tiny little bit cold now, so I can just feel them tiny little bit, but I can keep them in there for a little bit longer. So I can feel my hands getting cold now, so I'm going to say stop. And I'm going to take my hands out of the water. I'm going to actually just take my hands out of the gloves. Wow, that's amazing, the hands aren't even wet. So, I could keep my water, my hands in the water for a little bit longer. So this time, I did it for 54 seconds. And that was because my hands had the gloves on and a layer of margarine, a layer of stalk. So it acted like um, the blubber and it did keep you a little bit warmer. And that's how polar bears stay warm in the cold. Bye!